up and down, my kids come to town from that USA lost in Japan. Star of Little Moon, everything is all new. Showtime is today here in Japan. Kappa Mikey is a show that actually fucking aired on television. I truly believe this is the pinnacle of animation, and there is truly nothing that will ever manage to top this show's level of satire, intelligence, and above all else, animation. Now, I'd just like to study over that one bit of animation one more time, just to understand, you know, the effort that actually went into that one specific piece of animation and how much effort they put into it. You need to understand these animators are outstanding, guys. It's truly one of the most standout parts of the show and puts a lot of other animations I've seen in my time to shame, most of which revolve around Pixar or Disney. Those those don't even come close to what Kappa Mikey really manages to be. Everyone begs at the feet of Ozu! <laughs> like, the subtle inclusion of Mikey in every scene, even though he's designed with a western animation design, and might I add, a flawless one at that, he just seems to fit in everywhere, and usually in these scenarios you'd think it'd be a glaring obvious thing, but the way the show manages to incorporate the Western animation, it just, it just feels like it should be there while still being a quirky aspect to the show. <laughs> the designs of every character are really, really well done. You, uh, you really get a feel for each character with every design, uh, Gonad is a goofy, lovable jock type. Guano is... Lily is uh, very, very bratty while still being endearing in some way. And um, the blue-haired girl is, uh, I think, Gonad's younger sister or something. And... Above all else, Mikey is just so well designed. I cannot put emphasis on the art style they use for him and just uh, the abnormal creativity that came into his character in, in a show where uh, a cliches might be a common thing. They really stood out here. I am the producer of Lily Moon, Mikey. The, the next thing I'd like to highlight is the, uh, the intelligence of the writing and that the writers really seem to understand you know what they're satirizing and just how subtle they can manage to be about it with while still getting to the point and, and never really being in your face about it no more hey you can't yell cut i'm the director that's my job every enemy show is cards 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 Cut! why can't our show be original its pacing is brilliant it it has a, a really fast flow, but it's never too much for you. And honestly, um, some people would compare it to Johnny Test, but that I honestly don't believe that's true. I think it should be compared to something maybe, say, Sonic the Hedgehog is a much better comparison. It's it's a flow that you gather, and it just it once it starts going, it doesn't stop, and you don't want it to stop because it's just the ride of your life, man. Mm, that's nice. It almost rhymes with pretty. That's how I'll remember it. Ew, does my name almost rhyme with something? I forget your name. It's Mitz- Whoa, is that a dog? Relax, Mikey. We're gonna make sure you see everything Tokyo has to offer. Where to? Downtown. It's on! The jokes are cleverly written and nothing goes over your head because they, they spent enough time on one joke to have you understand it and you, you never left confused while it still manages to retain the subtlety, and it's just impressive how clever a show can be with uh, so many subtle references to so many other arts it seems to be influenced by without actually stating anything about it. You never catch me, Team Lily Moo! In fact, the writing of the show was so goddamn good, I, I honestly, I developed 
of I developed like three fucking tumors on my body because of just how unbelievably amazing it was. I can't comprehend how much pain my feeble human mind was when I saw the work of the Lord at my fingertips here on here on planet Earth debuted in America. We are truly in a special time where we can get such beautiful fucking art like Kappa fucking Mikey. I have never seen a show so goddamn good. It gives me such a fucking heart on. Stop right there. There's a new hero in town. And his name is Kappa Mikey. I can guarantee tonight that I will in fact go to bed with fucking nightmares in my heart because I happen to see Kappa fucking Mikey tonight. I truly have not been graced by the work of the Lord. I have seen hell and it is ugly. I have nothing to live for and this is the last thing I will ever make in my life because I am killing myself tonight. <laughs>